After nearly two hours, the January 6th committee wrapped up its first public hearing. The first hearing laid out the facts as told by several witnesses, including members of the Trump family, Jason Miller, and even Trump election lawyers who all testified that the former president knew he lost the election long before January 6th. In fact, former Trump Attorney General Bill Barr testified he told President Trump repeatedly that he lost, even as he was also losing more than 60 election challenge lawsuits across the country. I had three discussions with the president that I can recall. One was on November 23rd, one was on December 1st, and one was on December 14th. And I've been through sort of the give and take of those discussions. And in that context, I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bullshit. The committee also focused on laying out the timeline of what happened on January 6th from the point of view, quite frankly, of the rioters who were there on that day. Tonight, they focused on the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers, who the committee showed through video evidence were coordinated in their actions and in their breach of the Capitol. They even recreated exactly which entrances were breached and at what time. The committee also showed never before seen video that I'm not gonna play in full, but it is 12 minutes long, it is graphic, and it is violent. Now, I've told you before, this committee cannot bring charges against anyone who may have committed a crime but the committee can, if they find criminality, refer the case to the Department of Justice, who then will decide whether or not to file charges. We're expecting to see three more hearings from the January 6th committee next week.